If you're watching this video on geometric series, it'd be useful if you'd watch part one and part two first of all. We're going to do some other examples here. So in this question, we're told the sum to infinity of a geometric series is five, and the first term is seven. We've been asked to find the common ratio, which we denote as R, and the sum of the first 15 numbers. So let's go through what we're told. The sum to infinity, we have a formula for that, is A over one minus R. So if we're told the sum to infinity is five, that means A over one minus R equals five. But we're also told in this question that A is seven. So what I've got there becomes seven over one minus R equals five. And I need to find out what R is. Various ways of solving that equation. I'm just gonna put that five as five over one. So there's a fraction on both sides. And what you can then do, if you have one fraction equals another fraction, you can turn them both upside down. So I can make that one over R, one minus R over seven equals one over five, just by turning them upside down. Then I can times both sides by seven, effectively moving that seven to the other side. So I've now got one minus R equals seven fifths. Now I can add R to both sides. And I can now take seven fifths away from both sides. And I have R now on its own, R as a subject, and I have one minus seven fifths. Well, one is the same as five fifths. So I've got five fifths, take away seven fifths is R, and five fifths, take away seven fifths is minus two fifths. So I found out R, which was my, which was my first task, R is minus two fifths. The second thing I had to do in this question was find the sum of the first 15 terms. Using the formula we had before, where the sum of the first n terms was a into 1 minus r to the n over 1 minus r. Well, I know a is 7. 1 minus r. Well, I know now that r is minus 2 fifths. I had that earlier on, r is minus 2 fifths, so I've got to do 1 minus minus 2 fifths, that's my r, to the power of n, which is 15. So that's the top line, and I've got to divide that by 1 minus r, where the r was some minus 2 fifths. So I've got my formula here in this box, and my working actually above it at the moment. You've got to be very careful with all of those minus signs. So let's see what we've got here. On the top, I've got to work out this sum here. Let's do that on the calculator. Be very careful with the minus signs. I'm going to do what's inside the bracket first. So I'm just going to do that bit there first. 1 take away minus 2 fifths to the power of 15. And on this calculator, I would do 1 take away. Now I need a bracket. I'm going to put a fraction in a bracket. And it's going to be a negative fraction with 2 on the top. 5 on the bottom, I've now finished my fraction, and I need that to the power of 15. So I now have my top line done. Apart from, I need to times it by 7. So I'm going to times by 7. And then I need on the bottom to divide it by this. Remember, two minuses together make a plus. So I've got to divide that by 1 plus 2 fifths. I'm dividing that by 1 and 2 fifths. So as a mixed fraction, one and two fifths. Press equals, I should have the answer I need. That is coming out as being 5.00 to three significant figures. So I've now worked out that the sum of the first 15 terms of that sequence is 5.00. The next question we're going to look at says, find the first three terms so that's u1, u2, and u3. Remember, u1 is the same as a. Find the first three terms of a geometric series which has a fourth term of minus 3, so that's u4 equals minus 3, and a seventh term of 81. Find also the sum of the first 12 terms of this series. So there's our question. 
Well, what do we know first off? We know that u4 is minus 3. u4 is a times by r to the power of 3. We had earlier that un is a r to the n minus 1. That's a formula you need to learn. So the fourth term will be a r to the power of 4 minus 1, which is 3. And I know that that is equal to minus 3. That is a useful piece of information. I know something similar about u7. The seventh term, I'm told, is 81. Well, using the formula over here, the seventh term is a times by r to the power of 6. And I know that is 81. That is another useful piece of information. I'm going to call this equation 1 and this equation 2. And what I need to know is what a and r both are. So I'm going to do this. The one with the highest power in it, equation 2, I'm going to divide by equation 1. And I'm going to do it as a fraction. I'm going to effectively write equation 2 divided by equation 1. And I'll do it over here. Equation 2 is a r to the power of 6 equals 81. And equation 1, which is going on the bottom, is a r cubed equals minus 3. And if I actually do this division, well, a r 6 divided by a r cubed, the a on the top and the a on the bottom, they will cancel out. So I'm left with r to the power of 6 divided by r to the power of 3. Remember, if you're dividing with powers, you do a taking away with the actual powers themselves. So r to the power of 6 divided by r to the power of 3 is r to the power of 3. That 3 came from 6 take away 3. And over here, 81 divided by minus 3. Well, 81 divided by 3 is 27. So that's minus 27. Now, I haven't got any a's involved, but I need r. If I know what r cubed is, to get to r, I need to cube root. That is finding what number you write down three times and multiply together to give me minus 27. So there's some number that when I write it down three times and times together, I'm going to get minus 27. So the r value that I'm looking for is a cube root of 27, minus 27, which you write down like that. The cube root of 27. And on your calculator, you'll probably find a cube root button. On this calculator, it's here. If I zoom in so we can see that a bit better, it's in brown on here. So what I'll do on this calculator is I need to get that on the screen, the cube root, and put in my 27, sorry, my minus 27. And that's telling me the answer is minus 3. And that's correct because minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3 equals 27. So r is minus 3. Now I know what r is. I can go back to my first equation here, I labelled equation 1, which said a r cubed equals minus 3. And I can replace that r with minus 3. So I have a r cubed equals minus 3. Minus 3 cubed is minus 3 times minus 3 times minus 3, which I already know is minus 27. So I've now got a times minus 27 equals minus 3. And if I divide both sides by minus 27, I get a is minus 3 divided by minus 27. And that's the same as 1 ninth. So I now know my first term is 1 ninth. So if I continue that question over here, I know my first term is 1 ninth, and I know that r is minus 3. So my second term will be my first term times by r. If you would work that out, that's minus 3 ninths, or same as minus 1 third. The next term will be that answer, minus 1 third, and I have to times that by minus 3. And if I do that, I get 1. So I've now worked out the first three terms.